Hello subscribers, what's up? It's Wilves here from Slide Nerd. If you go to YouTube user Slide Nerd playlist, we are currently stuck up on Material Design, which is season 5, episode number 47 today. If you haven't watched the last 46 episodes, you won't understand why Greg murdered Becca. So in the last video, we talked about how we can insert data into the database from a job scheduler service and at the same time load data into a recycler view with a cursor from the job scheduler service itself. Now in this video, we will fix the bugs which we had at the end of the previous video. Before I show you the code of what I have done, let me show you how the app currently works. If you go to main activity right now, it detects that there is no data in the database and it immediately loads the data inside a fragment with the help of an async task, which is the two toast messages that you just saw on the screen. At the same time, there is a job scheduler service which is going to run in the background. But it's going to start only after 30 seconds when the app has started. The idea behind this is pretty simple. When you're using a periodic update, the job scheduler API will throw an illegal argument exception if you try to set a minimum latency. There you go. There's on start job and on box office movies loaded. Now after a delay, initial delay of 30 seconds, the job scheduler service will run every 10 minutes as per my app. Now let me show you what the service looks like and what exactly happens in this code. So there's my my service class here. I have arranged a lot of things to make the code far clearer and reusable for you guys. There's on start job, there's on stop job and you will immediately notice this listener here which says box office movies loaded listener. Now there was a subscriber Ronaldo Crossbound with whom I had a discussion. He said that if the database is empty which means there are no movie results in the database, then we should immediately load it inside our fragment with the help of an async task. So that is easily accomplished with this task that you see here called new task load movies box office. Now if you go to this task here, load movies box office, what it simply takes is a listener object which is box office movies loaded listener. If you remember, my service implements that listener. And if you take a look at the listener first, which is box office movies loaded listener, it has a single method called on box office movies loaded. So going back to the my task over here, we simply take the component and then we perform the request inside the doing background. Now again, you will notice that in the doing background, I have something saying movie utils dot load box office movies. So if you take a look at that class, which is movie utils, it's right here in the extras package. So there I'm going to place all the methods for loading the different types of results in this class. So there's the method load box office and movies. It takes a request queue of Wally and then it does three things. One is it, it sends a request, the JSON request to load movie data. Second, it parses the JSON response. Third, it inserts the response into a database. Now all of this is highly modular. If you take a look at this class called requester, it's inside the JSON package here where I have sent the box office movies request. Whatever other movies that I need to fetch, like upcoming movies or fetch the search results, whatever I need, I'm going to place all those JSON request sending methods inside this class called requester. At the same time, there's our class parser, which is going to do only one thing, which is going to parse all the JSON responses coming from the different movie streams that we have. I may probably change the name of this method depending on what other methods I add inside this class. And at the same time, we have the utils here in the JSON folder where I have utility methods like contains to check if a JSON object contains a specific key or not. So going back here, let's take a look at what the movie utils class does. There's the send, there's the parse, and then there's the insert, and it's gonna simply return the list that we have. So coming back to the task, that is the list which I'm storing in this variable which is called list movies and I'm returning it over here in the form of this array list. Now notice that I have also changed the progress, the params and the result of the async task. Both of them are void. There is the params and progress and the result is an array list of movie objects. If you go down in the on post execute, I simply trigger the on box office movies loaded method of the interface if that is not null. So in our service, if you go back, Here's our method on box office movies loaded where I'll simply call job finished to indicate that our service has finished updating or loading data into the database with the help of JSON. So the next important part of our app is inside the fragment box office. 
when the user starts the app he or she expects to see data inside this fragment if you don't have it then they are going to uninstall the app straight away so going to the on create view method we have modified our logic a bit if the saved instance state is not null, it means this fragment is starting for the subsequent time where we can get the result simply from a parcelable and load the data. Otherwise, if it is the first time, then what we do is try to read from the database and get all the results. However, if the database is empty, then we start a task from our fragment. Notice that I have called the same task object from both the service and the fragment which is why I don't have any direct references. Rather, I've done the same thing. The fragment here also implements the box office movies loaded listener. And it has the same method which is on box office movies loaded where it gets an array list of movie objects. Here it simply sets that with the adapter box office by saying adapter box office dot set movies. And if you go to the top here, that is inside our on create view where I was just showing you things. If the list movies is empty, I simply start the task and I execute it and the result is going to be retrieved inside the on box office method. The final thing which I had to take care of was the main activity. If you remember from our previous videos, we had a method called construct job here where I simply had the job info dot builder schedule and build everything with the help of the job scheduler instance that you see here. But the problem was if you don't delay this, then the job scheduler and the fragment both try to load data at the same time. In other words, when your fragment starts, the fragment executes the task for loading data. At the same time, the job scheduler also starts and executes a task for loading data. I don't want that. What I want is the fragment to first load data if there is no data in the database. And only after say 30 seconds, I want the job scheduler to start running. Now there is a method called set minimum latency if then you go to the job info dot builder documentation in Android. Let's take a look at the documentation for this class. So here if you type set minimum latency, this method says that specify the job should be delayed by the provided amount of time because it doesn't make sense to set this property on a periodic job. It's going to throw an illegal argument exception. And hence we cannot use this method. Otherwise I would have done it. But in our case, since we have a periodic job, I'll simply use the handler. I'll call post delayed over here. Inside the post delayed, I'll supply a runnable, and inside the run method, I'll call the construct job. So there it is, the construct job method along with the schedule method. So this is going to be called only after 30 seconds, which I've specified here as 30,000 milliseconds in my code. So this way, the fragment is able to load data initially when there is no one out there, but after some time, the 30 seconds, the job scheduler service automatically kickstarts and then it runs every 10 minutes. So this is the way I have managed to fix bugs in my code. What about you? How would you do this? Would you make two async tasks, one for the job service and one for the fragment? Or would you make the same task? Let me know how you would follow this in the comments below. With our latest setup here, the app always has something or the other to display. Even if you go back all the way to settings and clear the data for our app, let's first stop it to make sure that the service doesn't run and then clear the data. And now if we go back to our activity, you will notice that the data is being executed from the fragment and we got our results over here. So this is the way I have followed to set whole things up. The code for this is obviously available on github forward slash slide node. You can go there to repositories where there's a material design test app and this is the repository which contains everything and I'll be adding everything over here. In the meantime, I would like to know from you, how would you do this? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what you saw, Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.